Hello? Yeah, hello. I'm uh, answering your bass player wanted at. Yes, how are you doing today? My name's uh, Al Albert, actually. Albert? I put Oliver in the ad, but I just did that to, uh... What's that, one of your stage names? No, just so when people call, you know what it's for? You know what I mean? I say that again? Oh, because you when just... people go, hello, is Oliver there? Then I know what it's, what it's for, you that, know what That I mean? way, that's like your cue, so you know this is a band call. Right, exactly. So, well, especially when the phone rings all day long, you know? Hey, man. Dude, that is smart, man. I like the way you're acting already, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you a little about myself. Very good. What's your hey. name first? Jackie Starr, dude. Jackie Starr, great. There's two R's at the end of that. Okay. One T, two R's. Okay. Um, anyway, I saw your ad. The reason I'm calling, I fit all the requirements, and I'm, I'm 25, 18 to 26. Right. Uh, under six foot, I'm there 5'9". Great. I'm no mercenary, and uh, I'm not a hobbyist. Right. And then, to tell you the truth, you didn't even mention it, but, you know, I got the looks and chops, too. Right, which is great. You know, which is always, you know, I mean, it just, that's there, so you don't have to worry about it. Right, right. The rest of it takes care of itself as far as the playing. You You're into the I mean? influences in the ad and everything? Oh, yeah. That style? Great. I grew up on that stuff, you know what I mean? Right. I right. mean, I'm talking, I was there, you know, when it happened. Right. How long have you been playing for? Uh, seven years. Seven you know? years, yeah. Any bands you've been in in New York? I've been in them all, basically. In them all? In them all, at one time or another. In and out of them. Jamming. Oh, really? You know, I've been jamming the world. The last gig I did took me around the world. Wow. Well, Doing yeah. uh, theaters, basically. You know, big theaters, small stadiums. What was the name of the project? Um, well, it was the Beaver Creek. Uh-huh. You're probably not familiar with it because it, was it wasn't a hard rock thing. Man. Oh, I see. Right. But, um... It was, you know, it was the experience of touring the world, basically. That's it, right. Doing all the, you know, which was, you know, couldn't, it was the best. Which you know? is great. A lot yeah. of drugs, a lot of sex, a lot of women, right. a lot of jamming. Right, which is great. You know, and that's what I'm in it for. Great. And like I was saying, I got looks and chops, you know. Good deal. You know, so I mean, yeah. If you can come by like 5 o'clock. All right, what do you look like so I can know, you know, when I get there? Uh, well, you're going to come to the apartment. Yeah, all right. So you'll know it's me. I'm going to answer the door. So I just, Oliver. Right. So come in. Uh, let me give you the address. Yeah, what is it? What do you got? 46? West. It's uh, West. 57, right? 57, no. What are you guys on? 30th? There's we're, a lot of bands over there. No, no. We're, we're, we're meeting at the singer's apartment. We're not going to jam today. No, j well, I got my axe with me all the time, so oh, it really? doesn't even matter. Well, I'm not leaving. I'm, if I'm watching TV... Right. I got my axe. If I'm taking a shit, I got my axe. Right. If I'm at work, I usually got my axe, and they don't even, you know, they don't. Even, they think I'm just bringing it to practice. I'm practicing all day, man. Right. Because well, I got, like I said, the chops and looks are there. Right. But you got to have the chops. Get the chops going, you got to be playing all the time. Right. I'm not a part-time mercenary, hobbyist, none of that shit. Right. What we're doing is we're meeting people today. And you know, uh, I got rid of I'm ready to go, man. And we're going to get it tonight. I'm jamming. But you guys are serious, so this isn't like thrown together. It sounds like, I mean, you guys are ready to... No, we're setting this shit up. You're ready to take this to the stage and rock it to the right, max. Right, that's it. And we're just having a hard-ass time finding the right people. Well, sh you know, we just talking about our last bass player out because he, he was unprofessional. He was late all the time. He didn't come to rehearsals prepared. Drugs and that kind of thing? Not drugs. Well, yeah, I think so. But, you know, this, we... What was the first clue? Like the syringes, right? I mean, that's the giveaway. Right. When you see him laying around with the syringes. No, we didn't see that. But, you know, he just, uh, I think he, he's quitting. He's in the verge of quitting and going, uh, you know... Going straight, normal, cut cut the hair, GQ bank job, right? Right. And, uh... Shit, I hear you, man. I, you know... But he was all fucked up and it wasn't working out, so we had to let him go. And, Listen, uh, I'll tell you, man. Do you guys do drugs and alcohol? Is that part of the act? Not really. I mean, is it, is it, what do you feel about other guys in the band doing it? Well, we, we drank a lot, but we're not big into the drug thing. As long as it doesn't fuck up your, your, your work, then I don't mind it. You know what I mean? If it starts interfering with your professionality in the music, then it's no good. Right, but then as far as but like... if you can handle your shit and do it, I mean, what kind of drugs do you do? What are you into? Well, you know, I did the Richards thing, right? Uh-huh. Then I did the Tyler thing. Uh-huh. Then I said, fuck it, do the Jagger thing. Right. And then... It came full circle to I was like, uh, I was doing it all, you know, I was, I, I thought I was Sebastian Bach, right. I was drinking like a fish, right? snorting, whatever hooch was coming my way, man. If it was laying there, I was doing it. Right. I wanted to live the life and come there and back and shit. Right. And it was like, whoa, it took me to, you what know, you I'm glad I'm a better person for it, to tell you the truth. What do you do now? And my best shows were when I was fucked up. Right. But, 
now I, you know, I try to give you an even keel, but it's, you know, what the fuck? I mean, like, I got this voice ad, right, on Wednesday. Right. It took me to Sunday to call you and shit. Right. You know, and I've been looking at this ad every day. Right. But, you know, when you got the fucking, I tried down the number, you know, and I was hooched out, but now I'm telling you, I'm straightening up and shit. Because it sounds, well, like, listen, buddy, sounds like this is the kind of shit I want to jam in. Listen, if, if it interferes with the music, it's no good. I hear that, man. You can handle your shit and not do it or do it without fucking up the music. Dude, do what let those jams, right? Whole time. Those jams you're saying, the key and A and B, right? Right. Fucking, I got B down inside and out. Right. By being, you want to be like fucking jamming faces and shit. That's it. And when people are just looking at you like, man, they're fucking jamming, you just get the energy like, shit, fucking... I gotta jam harder, you know? Right. That makes you say, fuck it, I don't need this fucking needle sticking out of my arm. That's it. Who needs the fucking blood dripping on your guitar and shit, right? That's the deal. So, I'm ready to straighten my act up already just talking to you, Oliver. Good deal. And I'll tell you something else, man. If you guys are into the fucking scene, you know, the Stones and the Bad Boys and shit? Right. Dude, I'm ready to fucking live it because I'm living it now. You can tell that shit. Right, no doubt. I mean, fucking A. People all fuck with me. Right. I got my guitar with me all the time, right? I'm jamming, I'm hanging out. If I'm fucking jamming on the subway, I'm jamming in my head. Q, B, A, I'm fucking always practicing. Even if I don't have my guitar in my hands. Good deal. I'm living the shit, dude. I'm ready to live it. I'm not looking at fucking one of these, you know, winger and all that shit. Right. Fuck those glam boys, man. Right. They could fuck them. They could fuck them up the ass for all I give a fucking shit. Because I'm ready to fucking smoke the world with the rock and roll. Good deal. You guys wear, what kind of underwear you guys wearing shit? Boxers? Uh, no, I got like, uh, what the fuck do I wear? Uh, the bikini shit. Yeah, see the chicks the fishing hat and shit? Right. You know, you, you know, most guys are like, man, that shit's for fags, but the fucking chicks dig it. Right. And you know, every now and then, you know, you get on stage and you get a little funky and you get into it. Cool. Right. Good deal. So what, yeah, that's so cool. So we're meeting today. You available today? Yeah, man. What time you want to get together? Oh, I'm ready to go. I got my amp, my cord, my jack. Uh, five o'clock. Well, we're just meeting at the gym. We're meeting to give you the tape. And at the gym? To check check each other out. No, you guys meeting at the... All right, so you guys, do you guys lift and shit? Are you in good shape or what? Uh, I lift every now and then, not often. I mean, I don't want any flabby titty guys in no, the No, fuck no. We're all thin. We're paper fucking thin. Do you work on it? I mean, you guys don't eat too much and shit. Nope. Nope. How about the... Any bulimics, anorexic? No. Nope. I've been in bands with guys that are bulimic and shit. Nope. Nope. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're not talking uh, not Nobody's in a stage of denial and shit either, no, right? No way. Because everybody says no way, but then you get in a situation, you see guys I'm throwing healthy, back to their burgers. I'm a healthy motherfucker. There's no doubt about it. Veggies, whatever. Rice, no, beans. I, I eat well. I work out every now and then. Like, I, what do you do, push-ups, sit-ups? I, I quit all drugs. But you drink, man. But I drink. Do Bon Scott. Do right. the Bond thing, man. That's it. I just drink. Fuck Dude, the drugs. I, you know, fuck it. If, if I had a place in a book, right? And they found me dead in a car and fucking poke, puking on my own vomit and shit and choking. Right, right. But if I was in the book and this kid's reading about it 20 years from now, I made my mark, man. Right. And do you evolve tunes of your own out of covers tunes? Right, shit? right. So they sound like other tunes, but at least you got your own lyrics and shit. Right, exactly. And what the fuck, the kids don't know the difference. No. They weren't around when ACDC was kicking out the Highway to Hell jams. Right. So you get up there and sing, uh, hey, I'm on the fucking love rap to heaven. Right. Over the chords, they don't know. Right. And you can make a quick buck that way. Exactly. And make a living. So and, and it's it's certain, it's uh, when you mix a few different styles together, it does got like a little bit of an original flavor to it. You know what I mean? We don't rip them off completely. Yeah, because you can't play like Angus, right? Right. No one can do that. Right. So you throw in your twanky guitar and it doesn't and, sound as good. But right. It doesn't sound like ACDC all the way. You know what I mean? Right. But maybe it doesn't sound as good, but it's still, it cranks. It's still viable commercially. It, it fucking it grooves, you know? Dude, it sounds like we're clicking, man. Yeah, no doubt. Let me just say, though, uh, yeah, man, this sounds good. So, so you guys must have gigged around the city, though, right? Yeah, definitely. What's the name, man? Ripcord. Fuck, Ripcord? Mm-hmm. What a fucking name, man. All I I mean, I've heard Rip before, but never Rip fucking Cord. Rip fucking Cord, that's it. That. Dude, can I do, like, if I was, like, if you guys let me introduce the band and shit, like, say, let's say we go on stage, Yeah. I'd be like this, man, I'd be like... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to fucking please welcome Rip Fucking Cord. That's it. Oh man, it's a ripping name. And then you know, just to change it up on the next night, I'd be like, fucking uh, um, every band in the land, uh, you've heard him now. Fucking Rip Cord. 
<laughs> look, if that didn't get around, I'd just give him the fucking subtle approach. He'd be like, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like you to please welcome from New York City, Ripcord. <laughs> Dude, you do fucking shit like that, and people remember it. <laughs> and then I'd be like, you know, I'm fucking, I love the name, is all I'm trying to say. I don't mean to be overbearing. I don't know you yet and shit. It rips, though. Well, we're hanging, we're talking. That's the next thing. So listen, let me call Rex, find out what time we're getting together today. Give you a ring back. Hey, listen, I didn't mention this before, man. I don't have fucking, uh, I don't have the long hair, you know. I sort of got a bald spot and shit. Oh, really? I don't know how that affects the rock and roll vibe. I mean, I'm a crazy hair and won't shit, but... Well, how long is your hair? Does... Well, the straggles in the back are pretty long, but it's, you know, it's bald on top. I want right. bald young, what can I do? Right, yeah. Can you hold that against me? I mean, you shit, know. I sound like an animal. I'm an animal. That's it. Cool. Well, what, how do you feel about that, though, man? Is no. Because I don't. I feel uncomfortable if you guys are looking at me like, oh, look at fucking Bozo over here. In face. <laughs> you know. No, don't worry about it. Because you kick, you kick. You know. What I, mean? I got the sexual fucking. The girls dig it anyway. They know. Right. I shine a buffing or two with that fucking dome. Cool. Good deal. <laughs> but listen, man. So listen. Let me get in touch. I, with I, I'll, I'll do a weave and shit if you guys really want it. Well, let me get me. Uh, get you want me to do a weave? I can do a weave. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's meet. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to get in touch with Rex and find out what time we're meeting today. Give you a ring back. Listen, can you, hey, uh, can you call me right back, man, just to tell me the details on this? I got to split. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, listen, yeah, give me a ring, man. You got it. You got my name? E give me your, I don't got your number yet. Give me your number, Jackie Star. Jackie Star, two hours, man. You got it. What's your number? Um, that ain't no jive. Okay, buddy. Dude, that's a little thing that we should put in a fucking tune, you know what I mean? That's it. Ain't no jive two five. See you, dude. Five. Jackie Starr, don't forget it. Very good. You'll be seeing it in the fucking lights. Great deal. Later, Rip Cord. Ciao. Digging it.